everybody, it's Howard and welcome back to the HR Show Experience. I am here once again with another video for you to talk about Rihanna's S&M video, okay? I have a whole lot really going on in my head and I'm going to really try and sift it all out when I discuss this video, but I'm, I, I think I might struggle, struggle just a bit. So, let's start this off, okay? She's coming on here, she's being dragged, kicking and screaming, kicking and screaming into this press conference where she is immediately thrown up against the wall, just like, oh! And they pl cover her in plastic, right? And the, the video goes back and forth quite a bit, you know. The whole thing is a serious play on um, her relationship with the media. Because when I originally heard the song, I was like, she's talking about S&M. That's, you know, whips and shanks. First things first, you know. I have nothing wrong with anybody that loves S&M. But I do know if someone was to come at me with a whip or a chain trying to do some foolishness, I'm going to set it off. I'm gonna be like, oh, no, 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 mm -mm, no, I'm sorry, we cannot do that today, no, 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 but anyway, so, there, everyone has the, the ball gags, and she, there's whips, there's chains, bejeweled ice cream, there's, uh, rah, 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 bananas, she was doing some serious things to that banana, but I mean, <laughs> and she ate strawberries, this whole video is very, very colorful, and that's that's one thing that I love, love, love about Rihanna, is that Rihanna will, gives me something to look at visually. I'm waiting for the day, I'm waiting for the day when a blind person is going to say, Oh my God, I can see! <gasps> I can see! And my first thing that I saw was Rihanna's music video. I mean, can't you imagine something like that happening? All that color that she throws in these videos. I'm like, oh my goodness, thank God we're not having seizures. But I love it. I love it. I love Rihanna. I love all the color. I love, this is, to me, to me, this is Rihanna's best music video, hands down. Like, this is one of my favorite music videos from her. And she's like, she's really doing very well. Like, if you think about it from the time when she came up with Pawn and the Replay, honey, with Music of the Sun, and we're all the way here to Loud. Think of, look, do you see all that growth? That is growth right there. And you know, I love it. I love it. I have I have every one of her CDs. I have yet to see her live, but she gives me she gives, she's giving she gives me what I need. She gives me what I need. She does. And I'm very 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 excited about this because Rihanna has that music video that it was banned. Like each and every year, don't we have videos that get banned? We, like for Cena Aguilera, wasn't Beautiful banned? Wasn't it Beautiful? Or was it something else? No, it was um, Dirty. Dirty was banned. Um, um, who else had a banned video? Rihanna has this one that's been ba banned. Like, so, this every year there's like a music. Rihanna, uh, not, not Rihanna. Sierra's Ride was banned. There's always a video that gets banned, and it's always these, these great, great videos. And that's what makes them so great is because like they're too, they're so great that you have to kick them out. Like, oh, okay, we can't have you in here. But I mean, to be honest. What did Rihanna do in that video that we don't see on a daily basis? I mean, no, we don't see people walking around in latex dresses and suits and stuff. But I mean, I mean, she was she, she, you know, we had she had she had bejeweled ice cream. I mean, we have ice cream and sprinkles. I mean, she eats bananas. Other people eat bananas. I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, what do we honestly see that we don't see on the daily? And I think that. It's just ridiculous that we that even we have, that we even have to ban things. People, look, oh, I'm about to go off on topic just for a minute, just just for a quick minute because this is just, this is something that really just kind of makes me wonder. It makes me think because I'm like, people, we are all we are so quick to ban stuff, ban each and everything. But let's just sit back and think about it, okay? Because I, I mean, I don't quite know what, how people are going to take what I'm about to say, but you know, it's a lot of times it's the parents that are upset about what's being shown, okay? And for me, all these parents want to complain, but you're complaining if you're doing your job as a parent, it doesn't matter if they block it or not because your child wouldn't see it anyway. If you're going to do, if, if, if all the people that want to complain about what's being shown on TV, don't watch it. That's, that's the most simple answer. That's the most simple answer is don't watch it. Don't. Don't, don't do anything. Just move on. You know, what? Well, 
why are you, you, you want, if there's so much stuff on TV, so many different channels. There are hundreds and hundreds, there's thousands of television channels. Thousands. Why on earth does it matter if they show something or not? If you don't like it, I think that if, if there's something, you know, a bit too, that could be considered too much, that there should definitely be a disclaimer in the beginning before it's shown saying this may not be suitable. Okay, but after then, it's up to the parents' job. And then why not? And I think sometimes, a lot of times, parents just don't want to explain to their children what their children are seeing. And I, and I think that that's a mess. As your job as a parent, I know when I have my children, I'm only 21, so please leave I don't plan on having children anytime soon. But when I have my children, you know, I'm going to definitely explain to them all the types of things. Because I think, I think that, that that's very good. I think it opens up discussion. I think that, you know, if you, if you talk with your child, your child is, you know, to me, less likely to do things. Me and my aunt, we can talk about anything. May I be comfortable talking about all of it? No. But if I wanted to come into her and ask her something, she's not going to turn me away. Same thing with my father and anybody else in our family. You know, we we're, like I think that it's very good to be open, have open discussions with your children. I mean, you have to explain it to them in an appropriate way for them, but there's nothing wrong with that. I don't think so. And I mean, if you don't want if you don't want your five, your five year old should not be even listening to a song called S and M. So this this is all just ridiculous. Just move on. We have Perez Hilton. The guy who on those blogs who says all kinds of crazy stuff about people, he's on a leash in Rihanna's video. I think it's amazing. I think it's amazing. And I think it also shows that, you know, that they that they both have some like a like a bit of humor in them. Like, okay, they're not taking nothing too seriously. And I love that about both of them, is that nothing is taken that seriously. Because I think if we take stuff too too seriously, it just becomes a mess. But anyway, I wanted to say this before I get off this camera, is that did y'all see in the background the princess of the Illuminati and on the little notepads? I, I didn't catch it at first. Kevin, we watched the video together when it when it came out, and I was like, oh my gosh, what? I didn't see it. He said, did you just see that? I said, see what? Because I wasn't paying attention to what was written at first. I was looking at the video. And he said, that's it. She's the princess of the Illuminati. I said, what? 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 I paused the video throughout to see what each of the things said. And I was like, oh my, it was saying it a lot. It kept saying it throughout the entire video. Well, not the entire video, but like, it was throughout the video. And I was like, oh my gosh, what is this about? And I'm like, okay, well, I understand that, you know, this whole thing, this whole Illuminati thing is just such a something, you know. I don't really quite know what it is. I don't know if it's a phase. I don't know what it is. Um, I would love for someone to let me know, you know, fully what's going on, okay, because it's all, this is truly just being just a mess, because I'm hearing all these different types of things, and I don't know what to believe, which is why I choose just to, like, just to just, you know, just, I'm just sitting here, okay, if somebody wants to jump out there and let me know, let me know, okay, but I don't want nobody not coming, don't come knock at my door, Miss Illuminati people, don't do it, okay, because I got some mates. but I mean, I, I mean, she may not be saying, because that's what, when Kevin and I were sitting there, we were talking, I kind of freaked out a bit because I didn't know what was going on. But then he was like, well, hold on, maybe that's maybe it's not what, what we think it is. Maybe Rihanna is just saying, like, those are headlines, you know, which is what they are. All of them are. They're headlines. But I'm like, that's some, that's kind of over the top to really put in your video. And it was so, it goes so fast, you may not even notice it, but we're just pressed. We, and when I knew I was going to probably end up making a video about it, and I asked you guys, because I didn't even know if you guys wanted to see this video, but, which is why I asked if you wanted me to make it, so I made it. You know, I thought I was going to make a video about it, but I wasn't sure. And I knew that that was one of the things that I had to talk about. What a crazy thing. But I mean, either way, it's all just something. It's all just something, something, something. And I really enjoy you, Rihanna. I, I, would I can't wait to, to get the chance to see you live, whatever that's going to be. And I hope it's during this loud thing, because that what's my name? What's my name? Hey, what's my name? Ah, I love it, I love it, I love it. But s and is really something, something festive, something great for me. And I just, and are we going to get a video for Raining Men? Does anybody know that? Because we're getting a video for Fly, correct? That's what I'm understanding. But are we getting one for Raining Men? I think people, I'm going to say it one last time. And I'll probably end up saying it again. If you have Nicki Minaj in a song, why? There should be a video for it. There should be a video for it. Hands down. I mean, there should be no types of, you know, discussion. There's really no need to discuss anything. There's really no need to go back and forth. And with Rihanna and... And like on my phone, I, I don't have the, my phone with me, but I, like my background is a picture of Rihanna and, and Nicki Minaj doing a little fly video. When, when is that coming out? Okay, when is that fly? Oh, oh no. 
You guys, let me just explain what just happened. I almost started singing that Hillary Duff song, Fly. Moving on. If this is your first time watching me, click that subscribe button and follow me on Twitter. Twitter.com forward slash HR show. And be my friend on Facebook. Facebook.com forward slash HRS experience. Thumbs up this video. Send it out on Twitter, MySpace, Facebook, all of those things. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.